Hello guys, Joshua here. So today I'm going to install the uh, flip down ceiling monitor for my expander. I would have gotten a little bit bigger than this, but the problem is I don't want it too big and also the size for this just fits right uh, front and back so I don't want to overshoot it like this or too much at the back so 9 inches just right plus it's just a small tire anyway uh, unless you need uh, more stronger glasses than I have okay so how to do that first I'm going to remove the bolts on here I'll remove the um, seat belts so and also the A, par A pillars from this side and the other one uh, also the uh, the clips here and here, there and I'm also going to remove the lights. I'm not sure if I have to remove this light, but I'm going to try and, and do it half only. So I'm going to just remove the front part. Also the uh, sun visors and also the handles. I have to unscrew them. So that's it and then I'm going to uh, have to put sheet metal or aluminum stainless something like that thin enough so it would fit here just to give it more uh, uh, what they call this because it, this is just a soft wood or whatever material so you have to have a uh, support on the other side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rivet the support with the uh, uh, with the mount so you can use uh, screws but unfortunately I think the screws would be very thick so this will not uh, fit very well so I opted for um, uh, what do you call this uh, rivets so yeah so I'm just going to remove this just pull there here and on the other side and then I'm going to remove the screws I already pre-removed it so one thing also there's a wire on this side uh, for the uh, dial uh, you can remove it but if you don't have to remove it then just leave it be so the headrest I put it a little bit higher so it will support the weight uh, the the ceiling so it won't bend that much so yeah so I'm going to start removing things now and I'll go back to you later Okay guys, so I've removed the connectors, but I still need to uh, mount the plate. So the plate is already inside, but I found another problem and I cannot get through it. So I figured out I might as well just remove the, because before I don't know how to remove it. So I've been trying to but I couldn't see it so when I finally had that much of frustration I I checked uh, how to remove it I use a camera how it was installed <laughs> so I removed the air conduct which is much more easier than removing all the screws so, but I couldn't have done it and I also need to put this down anyway so I could install it properly. Okay, so I'm going to mount it now with 
this riveter okay so i'll show you later when i have uh, uh if you can see uh, i'm not sure you can see the inside but there's a plate in there i just have to mount it out i need two hands so i'll show it to you later when it's uh installed okay Ano siya guys? Ito pa nakabit yun na sa harap pero... Kapagod. <sighs> Hirap talaga mag DIY but totally worth it kasi sobrang saya. Okay so continue ko na yung pagkabit. I-wire ko na mamaya maya. Okay. So, I finished installing this one. It's a DIY, guys. It doesn't have to be that perfect, but I made it to work. So, okay, for the wires, wires goes in here to here. Yeah. Then just put all your wires here. Just remove this and it goes here. And then goes to the head unit. Okay. So that's how you wire your car. Uh, but okay there. So for the uh power you need to have a uh piggyback like this one so on mine it is installed on here which is the um cigarette lighter but you can also put it in accessories which is this one uh, they have the same fuse I think so yeah that's just about it the ground yeah the ground I just put it on the body there so that's it Thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe to my videos. Till next month.